Well, good morning, Mimi. The big takeaway for parents is that the shooter is in custody. We just heard that from Seattle Police Chief Adrian Diaz. He says that the shooter was identified shortly after that incident. That led to a very active uh, very active search for that shooter in the surrounding neighborhood. And we know that possibly just a few moments ago, that shooter whose identity uh, has not been released is in custody. So the the um, the current danger to the community is over with. But now the attention turns to that suspect or to that victim. Rather, we know that one person was injured, presumably by gunfire inside of Ingram High School. Uh, Chief uh, Diaz says that that uh, emergency call came in during the nine o'clock hour this morning. Uh, we know that one person was shot. That then led to that dramatic chase for the shooter, which uh, seems to have come to an end at this point. Uh, but along with that law enforcement response, we saw a just tremendous response from parents, from family members that dropped everything and came to Ingram High School. They've been gathering around 135th and Meridian. We now know that they are uh, gathering on school property closer to the school, uh, to the pool at the school uh, where police are having a, a reunification area where many concerned parents will be meeting with their students. Hopefully uh, everybody can breathe a little bit easier with that announcement that that shooter was in custody. Many details uh, will come out throughout the day. What led to this shooting, uh, possible motivations, and uh, what charges this shooter may be facing. Uh, many questions that will be revealed uh, throughout the day. We'll send it back to you.